All right, everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Steph. So do you need to know PHP to be a WordPress freelancer, a WordPress service provider? So you may or may not know that there is a type of freelancer out there that works pretty much exclusively with WordPress. And the reason you have this WordPress professional out there is because so many websites run on WordPress. So many small businesses run on WordPress. WordPress has its advantages and disadvantages, but overall it's very advantageous for people because the WordPress application itself, which is a PHP based application, it has all kinds of abilities built in and it's relatively easy to install that allows site owners to update the site, add new pages, edit the content very easily. WordPress is a very powerful content management system. We call this a CMS and it's the most popular one in the world for a reason. This video is sponsored by WP Forms. This is a plugin for WordPress that allows you to easily add very powerful forms into your WordPress sites without knowing how to code. You get drag and drop capability, it's responsive and mobile friendly. There are instant notifications, payments can be made easy. You got form templates, conditional logic, and much more. WP Forms helps make developers' life easier by helping them create smart forms faster. Go to wpforms.com slash killerphp and get a good discount. Once again, click on the link below for WP Forms. You get a nice discount when you click through. Something worth looking into. One of the reasons that WordPress is so widely used is because of the ecosystem. So you got the core app itself, which is very powerful, but then you have this big, huge ecosystem, which is unrivaled in the world. Now the WordPress ecosystem includes the themes, of course, which are all the visual templates and a lot of these themes not only have a visual component, but they also have a functional component where they provide all kinds of functionality. In addition to that, you have the plugins ecosystem in WordPress where you got all kinds of plugins where you can add a bunch of capabilities to your WordPress site. It could be shopping cart systems. It could be forms, just like the WordPress forms here, the sponsor of this video, and a whole slew of other capabilities. So the original question on the video is, do you need to be a PHP programmer to work with WordPress as a freelancer, as a WordPress professional? The short answer is no, not at all. And in fact, many, many people operate WordPress for years without knowing anything about code. That being said, if you know your HTML5 and your CSS3 and you throw in some basic PHP, your ability to work with WordPress will increase quite a bit, especially when it comes to editing themes, the WordPress templates, and maybe creating your own themes from scratch. Now, if you're editing themes, you really have to master your CSS and your HTML, much less so your PHP. Although, because WordPress is created with PHP, you're gonna have to get in there when you create themes with WordPress or editing themes, the visual component, you're going to see PHP code. So even knowing the basics of PHP is just going to make it easy, easier for you to navigate through the theme uh, structure that you find with every WordPress theme, WordPress template. Again, it's not essential, but it does help just to have the basics also something I've been teaching for many years now. When you understand how to write code, when you write a markup language like HTML or you write a styling language like CSS or a programming language like PHP or JavaScript, by the way, WordPress uses a JavaScript, of course. Although uh, when it comes to your functional day-to-day -day operations WordPress, PHP, having some basic PHP programming skills could be far, far more advantage, advantageous than JavaScript. Um, that said, when you understand programming, your ability to just work with WordPress is gonna be uh, better, it's gonna be easier for you. So there's tremendous advantages. So even for people who are managing a bunch of websites, even if 
let's say you're, you run a very successful business, you have a very successful website, and you're not really involved in the coding at all. So having a background in coding is still going to be valuable because you're going to be able to speak nerd. You're going to understand, understand the implications of certain things. So I highly recommend if you want to get into WordPress freelancing, you want to become a WordPress uh, professional, I would learn some PHP. Again, you don't have to become a PHP programmer, but you should be able to read basic PHP code, you know, understanding what a function is, how to set up variables, understanding what loops are, just the very basics. You get that under your belt. Your ability to work with WordPress will be just that much better. Thanks for watching.